Hello, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III! Today I'm going to be going through Lake Dahl and get some treasure that I really don't care about, but it's there, so we might as well get it. It's good for the experience. And despite the fact that the enemies are real easy here, they give a lot of experience, so it's very nice for this area. Yeah, just about every enemy here is uh, weak to lightning, so take advantage of that. A uh, Bolt 2 spell can take them out. Yeah, I'm not going to demonstrate many of the random battles, or certainly not here at least. Yeah, the enemies are starting to get pretty vanilla now. But, well, it's the way it is. It'll save time on the videos at least. Okay, the lower path leads to the next floor, but I want to take the upper path here first. And we get a white scent. Uh, I think that casts holy or something, but it's like a, a one mul with one magic attack multiplier, so it's like downright useless. Yeah, all the items that cast spells only have one magic attack multiplier, so they're useless like that. It's, it's no good. Yeah, thank God they fi fixed that item attack multiplier with uh, in Final Fantasy IV DS. Yeah, items are actually worth using to cast spells in Final Fantasy IV now, which is amazing. I love it. It's great. I finally broke down and got a DS, and it was totally worth it. It's great. Maybe I'll get Final Fantasy III one of these days. So yeah, if you don't have Final Fantasy IV yet for the DS, get it. I, I've only played, like, through the first few scenes of the game, but it is already amazing. I love it. And that's not just because I love Final Fantasy IV. I just love the remake. It's amazing. I didn't think they could make it better, but they did. So, there you go. Why are all these enemies showing up in threes? It works, but... Just seems a little odd. And we get some more useless battle items that I will never use. Ever! Well, I'll sell them, but besides that. Yes, even at the end of the game, we have things that we want to do with our money. A lot of things to do with our money. And if you run into groups of enemies of four, use Quake. Just finish them off. It's easy enough. Guess who that is? Oh, come on, I was one step away from him. Okay, well, let's get Leviathan. Are you worthy of my power? Let's find out. And just like Odin, this guy has seven grand in HP. So, let's get him. Same strategy as with uh, most of the other bosses. Uh, attack, attack, cast haste on your melee warriors, and go from there. Wow, that's not bad, without haste. And he has a tsunami attack, which, yeah, that hurts a bit, but we only have to fight one boss in this gauntlet, so... Well, I guess it wouldn't really be a gauntlet, would it? Uh, yeah, I'll cast haste on him, why not? One more bio spell ought to do. Uh, Leviathan's not weak to lightning in this game, by the way, just so you know. At least not in this version. Yay! We got him. And we get the power of Leviathan! Yay! Which I'll never use. Oh well. But I might as well give it to someone, so this time I'm going to give that to Ingus. Because he has nothing better to do there. Okay, so now I'm going to get out of here, and then I'll meet you back at that cave that I passed up earlier, because that's where we want to go next. So, let's get out of here. Okay, here we are. We're back, and we are outside of this cave. So, let's check it out. Did I rest up? Good. I did. And here we are at the Cave of Bahamut. We met him once earlier in the game. Let's see if we're strong enough to take him on now. Yeah, the enemies here aren't too tough, but this is by far the best place in the game to grind for levels. I'm not going to do that yet. I I'll wait until I get the final job classes, but 
you know, this is the place to do it. Yeah, this place is really good for level grinding, not so much because of the experience you monsters give, but because they can show up in large groups, like six at a time. It's really amazing for that. It's the fastest way of any area in the game for that. So. Yeah, and the monsters here aren't too tough either. I mean, you can take them all out with a simple quake spell, and you're right next to your invincible to recharge. So, it's a perfect area. And we get another golem staff. Do I already have enough of those already? Yeah, yeah, I got both of them. We'll use them soon enough. Yeah, none of the enemies have elemental weaknesses here. Yeah, so basically you want to stick to your uh, level six... Yeah, level six spell charges for your black wizard to cast bolt three. You can take out any enemy with that here, really. Except for uh, Queen Lamia. Might need something with a little more kick to it to make that work. Yeah, we're almost at the end. Okay, well, I might as well show these guys. I got a little bit of time. Yeah, these ladies are real annoying. Uh, yeah, let's put Quake 2 to use. I want to be able to get through the boss if I can. Not enough to kill them, huh? Well, fortunately, Refia can't do too much as uh, w with the golem staffs. <laughs> You're not going to get me stoned with those. Man, so many ways to get stoned in these games. Yay. Well, at least I'm getting elixirs. Okay, now before I move forward, I want to take a moment to heal up my party. So I will take care of that and be right back. Okay, we're all healed up, so let's get Bahamut. This time, Bahamut, you are mine! Yeah, you make me run away like a coward. Well, this time I'm prepared. Oh, wow, he's coming in fast. Okay, so remember those barriers I got earlier? Now's the time to put them to use. The interesting thing about um, the wall status in this game is that it doesn't prevent your own sp spells from going through them, so you can heal your own party while you have wall up, which is kind of interesting how they did that. Although eventually they realized, wait, that doesn't quite make sense. So you got to get those barriers up there. I don't know if using barriers are the perfect strategy against this guy for the reason you just saw, because sometimes it'll just go through anyway. Uh, the way it works is it, um, it reflects one spell, and then that's it. That's all it does. So, now it'll reflect off, if he casts Mega Flare again, it'll reflect off of Refia and Ingus this time around. So, I don't know. Maybe that's not the perfect strategy. Maybe I should be just getting haste up immediately and not worrying about Mega Flare. I don't know. But... It still reflects off of him, and I still get extra damage in there, so I think that's the way to go. I mean, I could be wrong. Okay, now we gotta get Cure 4 going, because if he gets another Mega Flare on us, I am so screwed. I'd be better off stoned. There we go. Okay, now we're in good shape. Man, Cure 4 doesn't really do a whole lot in this game, does it? It's like 400 HP on each of my party members. It's not good enough for me. Yay, we got him. Now we have the Bahamut summon available to us. Right? Yeah, we got it. It doesn't announce it, but uh, we got it. And unfortunately, since we left the cave, I have to walk all the way back through there. So, well, I'm just going to go out and take care of some stuff so um, I think I'll probably meet you outside of the Ancient's Labyrinth next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.